TJ, before we get started, man, I want to apologize for a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I was a little rough on you, but I got you some water uh, to start the show. Aww. I just want you to know that I care about you. Oh, sweet. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Are we cool now? That's right. Thank you. That's interesting. I appreciate that. Can we sing our song? Let's do it, man. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Cup, Cup of Joe, Joe. Morning, morning Show. Graham. That's right, folks. I'm back in the saddle. I feel so good. Again, apologies. Uh, but after a week-long attitude adjustment, it is great to be back here uh, on the Cup of Joe Morning Show with Graham. I am your host, Graham Connor, the host of the Cup of Joe Morning Show with Graham. I am Graham. Uh, without further ado, we're going to get started with some announcements, all right? So, no church on Sunday night. It's Labor Day weekend, and y'all wouldn't be here anyway, even if we had it. Um, we're going to be in person on the 13th. Joe, any thoughts? Uh, in person? Yeah, it's going to be in person. TBD on whether or not we're going to be outside or inside. We'll let you know, of course, uh, via our social media outlets. Uh, and then finally, an announcement to wash your hands, wear your mask, and wear deodorant. Uh, those are three very important things in the midst of coronavirus. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! All right, without further ado, we're going to kick it off. Over to our one-word weatherman. Joe, what's the weather like today? Hot. <laughs> Nobody's surprised there. All right. Uh, TJ, <laughs> cue the investigative journalism music right now. Last week, we received some correspondence from the Randolph Raider family after us not addressing the fact that they were 2-0 and to start their football season. I apologize for this mistake, but as a professional journalist, I had to take action. So I reached out to the only person I knew that could give me a full report on why the Randolph Raiders are experiencing success. That is senior cheerleader at Randolph, Madeline Allison. I asked her two very, very tough questions, and these were her responses. One, why are you good? She said, I think it's because we had to rebuild and work hard. We have a lot of seniors and they're a family. Not biologically, I'm assuming. We also got a new coach from JP2. That's another private school, but they're Catholic. And he rocks. He made changes and the results are that we are kicking butt and taking names. Um, that is a revised quote to shorten it down. Um, the second question, even more hard hitting than the first. Could Joe and I beat them in a game of two verse 11? Her response, honestly, probably. Without further ado, to provide some uh, some feedback there, TJ, will you add some of my film? <laughs> and Joe's film. Q and all and over. Weekly words of wisdom with Joe. What you got? I never lose. I either win or learn. Gandhi. Are you sure? Uh, actually, I think uh, Nelson Mandela. Similar. Similar. Similar in path. Um, <laughs> all right. Final segment here. This day in history, Kelly Clarkson wins season one of American Idol. Uh, what's that song? Uh, break away. Oh, She's not very good. Oh, she's wonderful, and I love her, especially as a coach on the boys. But that's just me having major dad energy. So, folks, thank you again for being here. So glad to be back again. I'm so glad to have this revised attitude. All thanks to my buddy Joe. We'll see you next time on the Cup, Cup of, of Joe, Joe Morning, Morning Show. Show. Oh. With Graham. With Graham. I felt more awkward that time. <laughs> that was nice something. Yeah, but, you know, I feel... I feel, I, feel, I feel better, you know, not being on a tandem bike. The show will go on. The show will go on, you know, whether or not I'm here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going anywhere. TJ, cut the cameras.